Hi, I'm a crafty bee named G, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little box, little triangular box. When you open it up, it actually has spaces uh, for you to put cupcakes, but in my case, I actually put the rosettes that I made for my friends. Here's the first one. My dog is snoring. Sorry about that. Oh my goodness. Here's the second one. Oh, and I'll show you these little rosettes. Some of them are smaller, but that's okay. Is the thought that counts. And I hope they like them. Alright, so this is a cut file that I made with the Cricut. It's actually a sweet treat boxes. This is the triangular box, obviously, and it's all grouped together. I just actually made it 20 inches in height, and it gave me this size box. And if we need to know, it is seven and a half inches on two sides and then six and three quarters on the other. Oh my goodness. Okay, I did go ahead and score these because my scoreboard is kind of scary. Plus, it gets a little frustrating to sit there and do that and move that out of the way, so I thought I'd go ahead and score these. That makes nice straight lines. I actually tried to do this video once and then realized it wasn't scored and it was taking me forever. This is obviously the spot that holds the cupcakes, or in my case, the rosettes. And then here is the bottom piece. We're just giving them a fold. These are the tabs. I should probably just keep talking so you don't have to hear my dog. Woo! This kind of paper that has the white core is great when you're doing some things. And then a little frustrating when you're doing others for obvious reasons. I am using Su Kuang score tape and I love this because I don't have a lot of patience with all this. I do, but I just want to get to the finished product. And so, sometimes it takes me forever. And this makes it easy. This is like a quarter inch, I believe. All right, so we continue taking it apart. Or excuse me. Oops. Putting the tape on and assembling the bottom. Once it cuts out and you have all of your choices of your colors, it's so easy to put together. Then you either have to buy the cupcakes, make the cupcakes, or do the rosettes. And of course, I want to plop this right in here because I love it. Voila. And last, the lid. As you can see, I made a little mistake because sometimes with the Cricut, it will move on to the next thing it's cutting. If you are trying to build stuff or make more than one, this project is pretty big. The base part is actually almost 12 inches on one part. I'm just going to continue scoring this or folding them. Alright. Anyway. I messed it up because I was putting a... It started cutting a tag right there. And I had to hurry up and stop it. But I wasn't throwing it away. 
because you won't be able to see it since there's white on the inside of the paper. Okay. It's funny whenever you do this and you struggle with the pieces. It's no big deal, but boy, whenever you're watching somebody do it and they're struggling, it's kind of funny. Because you're almost wishing you were there helping them. It came together that quickly. Once you get it cut, it's super easy. See? Now we're just going to choose three. One. How about him? Two. And three. Now on the other two, I did also make the bows. We'll move that to the side for a second. For the bow. You definitely want to round the paper. One of my bows doesn't look so amazing. The other one. My little peachy one, but that's okay. I'm not super concerned about it. Alright, and then just gently give him a curl. And I'm going to put a dot of hot glue. It's low temp. And Hold for a second. Well, my bow bent, but that's okay. I think I had it curled the wrong way. All right. It needs a bit more. Seriously, you'll do a better job. He looks a little wonky there, but that's okay. And then, oops. And then you're just going to glue him on like this. So I'll add a little more hot glue on here. like that. I like to kind of do it like this. Alright, super easy. Ooh, that's bow. I've seen better days. Alright, I will put them on there like this. And then what I did was there was a whole page of black and white pieces that were all on one page on Maggie Holmes carousel. I don't think this was one, but anyway, I chopped all of them up because they were all super cute. And I like them against the colors or the florals or the, you know, the stripes or whatever. So what I thought I would do is just add one onto each one of these. I know a lot of people layer and it looks so good, but for some reason, I don't know, I can't layer too much. It doesn't like me. Or maybe I just put too much thought into it where people just kind of slam it down and it's so amazing and works for them. All right, on this one, I think I'm gonna turn it to the side. And I'm really not going to put too much thought into it. We're just doing it. There. That bow was seen. Better days. 
You will do a better job curling it. But here we go. All right. Oops. I did not glue that part down, so we'll need to glue under here. And I have some little gems. Just to make them all consistent, I'm going to add one in the center here. Gosh, it's getting windy outside. All right, he's good enough for now. And last, I have a few stickers. My page is ridiculous, but anyway. I think we're going to add the sweet on there. ones. Let's see. Oh yeah. I added some pop dots. These itty bitty ones are going to take forever. You can go ahead and grab a soda and hopefully by the time you get back I will be finished. Goodness gracious. All right. This is hilarious. Oh, there were more. Anyway, I'm finished with that. And once I pull these off and stick him on there, he will be done. Anyway, you could probably fit any kind of other treat or something in there, whatever you wanted to put in here. Let's see how we want to do it. All right, it's finished. I hope you like my little tutorial, and I will see you next time. Bye.